This is the Cadillac ATS, General Motors' attempt to directly take on the BMW 3 Series, a performance luxury icon. May sound crazy for a company from Detroit to even attempt such a thing, but I've been driving this car for a while and I'll tell you, I seriously don't think the people in Munich are laughing very hard. The basic formula is pretty straightforward. Decent power, lightweight, rear-wheel drive. The ATS takes it a step further by getting the other stuff right too. The steering, the suspension, everything feels nicely balanced. The only slight quibble I might have is with the brakes. Not quite enough feel. I can't quite get a sense of when they're really about to grab. Other than that, this car is a blast to drive. I could imagine having more power, but it doesn't really feel like it needs more power at least with this V6 engine. You can also get a four-cylinder or a four-cylinder turbo. Of course, the ATS isn't just a performance car, it's a luxury car. Cadillac got most of that stuff right too. The interior is really attractive, as most Cadillac interiors are. There's a few places here and there where I think the materials are a little bit on the cheap side, but really I'd be quibbling about stuff like that. The Q entertainment system, looks fantastic. I still think old-fashioned buttons and knobs would be easier to use, but it's high on the cool factor. Now the back seats, well, I understand it's a compact car. You're not exactly going to have room and comfort to spare back there, but I do feel like the designers could have spent a little more effort in finding a way to squeeze in some more leg room. So the ATS is a very serious contender. And you know what? I think it's kind of nice to see Cadillac seriously going after that standard of the world thing again. <laughs>